Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for October 18th, 2022. Well, my goodness sakes alive, we've got a big pop happening here this morning. We popped back up yesterday, but unfortunately, the entire move of yesterday was really in the gap. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can pick up some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as I mentioned yesterday, that there was a chance that we might see a little bit of relief and we needed some. We've needed some for a while. We've been overdue for a relief rally. Unfortunately, yesterday's move was not really helpful to most retail traders unless you were already long because, well, what we, what we did is we gapped up in the morning and then we pretty much went nowhere. And then this morning, we're gapping up again. So right now what we're seeing, probably institutionally engineered gaps um, in the market where retail is not um, being able to participate much unless you're already long um, the market here at this point. So a little bit disappointing. And as we look at the technicals here in the chart, you can see we are starting to see a little bit of a change. So first off, one of the things from this oversold condition to the downside, we're breaking through here on the diamonds. And this morning, this gap up, we, we were struggling. We were not able to break up through there yesterday. But this morning, we're starting to see that pop through. Now, the question is, will we pop and drop? We've certainly seen a lot of that here recently. Recently, or will we actually be able to hold and follow through with that move here this morning? And a lot of this is being based on hopes of earnings potential. And the news continues to slant everything um, to the bullish side. It's kind of an interesting thing where um, Bank of America beat on top and bottom line estimates that were dramatically lowered. But on the year over year, uh, Bank of America lost 8%. And so it's kind of an interesting thing how we are manipulating these stocks higher right now with uh, better than expected earnings reports on lowered estimates, even though the year over year, the company is, is not improving. Kind of an interesting situation here. But that being said, earnings are typically a manipulation of price in the market and we're seeing it in a big way here today and there seems to be a tremendous amount of retail speculation that all of a sudden things are going to change um, so watch that closely we certainly needed this rally in the market and the gap up this morning if this holds will put us in a short-term overbought condition and we'll look at that in just a bit now technically in the charts if we look at our moving averages really nothing has changed here this would be a cross above the 34 EMA remember our 50 EMA is still declining and we're going going to run into some pretty significant resistance levels here in the Dow um, with price and technical resistance here soon. So watch that close. We'll see how, how bullish those bulls really are if they're going to push on through here and actually see some follow through after the market opens or if those bears were to fight back creating that pop and drop. Now if we take a look at our SPY SPY as you can see here, SPY was struggling a little bit more yesterday, not being able to break through that area here in the chart um, like the Dow was. But this morning we're popping up through that area. And as you can see, pushing into these re a little bit higher resistance levels here in that chart. And whether or not we can push on through there, that'll be the question. Now, the other thing that we have going on here <coughs> in the SPY is that we weren't able to break through that downtrend and this morning we're trying to pop through that downtrend here on the spy trying to pick things up so watch these levels up here pushing up through here kind of extending this move that's a great thing as long as we hold if you race it and chase this and this happens to be a pop and drop 
well, that's where it gets a little bit painful. So keep an eye on that. If this holds up here and holds a higher low, then I'm going to be all in bull on uh, the market, at least for a short period of time. If this holds and holds that higher low and we can actually see follow through, then uh, the bulls will be back in control. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ was also struggling with this downtrend and we struggled yesterday. We popped into the into uh, yesterday's uh, gap up but then went nowhere and as you can see here in the chart um, we're popping up here this morning we're going to test this resistance level in that chart and the big question is will we hold or will we pull back from this point and we do have a big tech reporting today that could uh, you know make some well could be interesting uh, on um, the afternoon with Netflix reporting so keep an eye on that now remember if those bulls can push on through and hold these higher lows then hey I'm all for that we want to be watching if we do pop and drop um, some of these support levels that could be tested in the chart and then the Russell IWM IWM has been pretty interesting in holding 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 um, on this low here we did make technically make a new 2022 low but as you can see what we've got going on here this morning is we're trying to pop this through that downtrend here in the chart Fortunately, we still have an awful lot of resistance in this chart and we can carry that straight on over um, in these charts. A lot of resistance to deal with here in the Russell. Again, we'll have to make sure that we can hold this downtrend, not just chase in on the pop. Make sure this holds up here and then see that extension to the upside rather than chase in in case this turns into the pop and drop and we pull back and test some support. Now if we take a look at our VIX yesterday, VIX was kind of interesting in the sense that we rallied so much yesterday in the morning gap but we really didn't change anything here on the VIX. We temporarily pushed down um, below that trend just ever so slightly um, that upside trend in the VIX and then ended up bouncing back up here just a little bit so although we were up nicely on the day this VIX wasn't a real confirming um, um, indicator that fear was dropping out of the market however this morning we're getting this big gap we'll see if that does confirm it and pushes us down below that trend we had a little bit of price support here that caught it and remember we've got some price support in here if we push on down in that chart so watch that close now if we take a look at our t2122 now our t2122 is going to be possibly problematic for us here um today because yesterday at the at the morning gap up we gapped up into the overbought area then where we just kind of rested and drifted sideways it pulled back here a bit we had a few more stocks declining and those kind of things so this morning with this big gap up this morning if that holds we're likely going to be up here in the bearish reversal zone now that doesn't necessarily mean we get the immediate whipsaw like we saw in here and reverse all the way back down it can mean we get up here and we linger up here for a little while and try to extend that rally to the upside can't tell you what what is going to be the case i'll just say it would be a really dangerous situation i think to be chasing into long positions as we stretch this up here and extend this move we want to wait for that resting pullback that proof that we're actually going to hold rather than catching the whipsaw back to the downside so watch that closely now if we are up here and we um we do extend up here on this big gap up this morning um, into that upside opportunity well it says that we don't have a whole lot more upside opportunity so it may be difficult for um, the morning to extend on higher um, unless we have something really major that uh, the um, uh, bulls can grab onto if we pop into here let's just keep in mind that does open a pretty substantial opportunity for a pullback and we'll want to be watching for that as well in case those bears find some reason for inspiration if we take a look at our t21 
T2108. Now our T2108 did improve yesterday and that's nice to see. We picked this up and as I said yesterday, there's just that little bit of hope of that rally. What I don't like to see is these giant gaps and no opportunity for retail to do much with it. It's all institutionally based and generated in the pre-market. If you can see here, we pushed higher yesterday, 31% of our stocks at the close, holding above their 40 day moving average. That is a nice improvement. We will wanna keep in mind that that has broken this really steep downtrend, but we still have this longer term downtrend that we need to deal with in the chart. So we've got a lot of work yet to do, but it is a nice improvement. T2107, well, unfortunately, T2107 didn't show that same enthusiasm yesterday. It pushed down, as you can see, and just kind of ran flat. 21% of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. So a little bit flat on that number, kind of an interesting circumstance. So we'll want to keep a close eye on that. I'm still working in that downtrend with considerable resistance above. And then if you'll notice, we still have this longer term trend that we're trying to deal with um, in that chart. Our T2101, um, interesting um, how that continues to uh, pull back here, showing us that little bit of momentum for that upside move is continuing to follow through. We're breaking this little upside trend here. So that's nice, but it is interesting that we hooked right here at the end of the day, kind of giving us that chance that there may be um, some type of uh, momentum reversal may be coming. So watch that carefully and closely. We'll have to wait and see. Then let's take a look at our economic calendar. By the way, um, our, our, um, our calendars here, as you can see, our, our, um, our index charts, as you can see, we had a surge right at the end of the day of volume. But if you'll notice, the um, as we're rallying up, our volume is really starting to diminish quickly. So that T2101, not sure that it's giving us the best of data because our volume really pulled back yesterday um, in the charts. And we'll have to see if they can follow through with that today with a little bit more volume to the upside. So watch that carefully. Our economic calendar for today, we've got a couple of things to be paying attention to. We're gonna get industrial production. Now, that Empire State number yesterday was horrible absolutely horrible this is a more important number a more market moving number we'll want to keep an eye on that and right now the consensus is expecting that to improve a bit so um, watch that closely if that were to um, come in as expected that would be bullish for the market if it happens to miss then that might bring in a little bit of bearishness so watch that close we do know our um, manufacturing sector has been in decline if we take a look right here we've got housing mar housing market index we'll want to be watching that closely we know our housing numbers have been starting to slip here that could also um, you know prove to be a bullish or bearish number just watch that closely it could move us around a little bit then not much after that we've got some fed speakers with treasury and international capital that no one's really going to be paying attention to but we will want to be focusing um, into Wednesday as we run into the close we're going to get have that housing starts and permits those have been problematic for us and then the petroleum status number so watch carefully for that now if we take a look at our earnings calendar and by the way guys there is no blog today the blog um, my problem um, I messed up and um, um, had a problem with it. So um, there will be no blog today. So let me run through the notable earnings today really quickly. Um, after the bell, I'd mentioned Netflix um, will be reporting. So keep an eye on Netflix. And Netflix has been trying all day yesterday. We were trying to break through that resistance area up there, rallying toward um, that report. So keep an eye on that. That's after the bell today, one of our first um, tech um, reports out there to be watching. We're going to hear from um, ACI. Keep an eye on ACI popping up here a little bit this morning. Remember, um, Albertsons is being purchased by Kroger, so we'll want to watch that closely. Keeping in mind, still in a downtrend, trying to pop up. Could be an interesting report today. Um, we've got some regional banks, um, CBSH, that will be reporting today. We've got um, FHN 
reporting today, again, regional banks. One of the big reports that we'll be watching for this morning will be Goldman Sachs. Goldman, of course, one of those market movers that can move us a bunch. We've been in a downtrend trying to rally here recently from this double bottom pattern. We'll see how they perform here this morning um, and just realize they can be a market mover. We're gonna hear from um, Hasbro That'll be an interesting one, um, trying to figure out how the consumers are responding to this market condition. So watch that carefully with Hasbro. Um, IBKR is on the list today. ISRG is on the list today. JB Hunt. So we're gonna get a little bit of trucking information in there. We got Johnson & Johnson reporting today. It looks like they're getting a nice pop here in the pre-market. Um, whoops, changed the tool on me. Um, big downtrend break, as you can see here in that chart. So keep a close eye on that breaking this downtrend, trying to push on higher. Um, I'd watch that one pretty closely. Um, any higher low in here uh, would set up an opportunity on J&J. &J. Um, LMT, Lockheed Martin will be reporting today, still obviously in a downtrend. Um, SBNY, another regional bank reporting. Um, we've got um, State Street will be reporting. UAL, United Airlines um, reporting this morning, still in a downtrend, struggle, struggling. We're seeing a lot of stocks in those downtrends trying to push up, um, can be kind of a dangerous place to be buying into an earnings report. And then last but not least, TFC reporting today. So keep a close eye on these stocks as they move around this morning. Most notable, of course, is gonna be that Goldman Sachs report this morning that could really move the market. So. Uh, pay close attention to that. On the, um, uh, let's see, we already did the economic calendar. So what we need to do is we need to look at the stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please do me that favor and click those subscribe button on, that subscribe button on YouTube, click the bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And then also, if you could do me that favor, if you could click those thumbs up buttons, leave a brief comment, and please feel free to share this video out on your social media feed. It helps the channel to continue to grow. Thank you so much for everyone who does do that. And also big thanks to uh, those folks that continue to support the channel through the buy me a coffee link. You guys are truly, truly awesome. I tr really, really appreciate it. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. And I'm gonna jump right back into this, um, this same situation here that I've been talking about quite a bit, and that is the dollar. Um, we're seeing the guilt. Um, the British pound is falling again this morning, and that uh, we've got a little gap down and push up here in the US dollar. We're gonna have to watch this closely because even as the market is trying to climb, we're seeing bond, bond yields hold up pretty strongly here. Um, still showing pressure in that currency. And there's news reports that China may be running into some major um, um, currency crisis um, going on over there. So watch this carefully. It, we need to see, we really need to see the US dollar weaken here a little bit because this is hurting other countries dramatically. And um, we've got a double-edged sword here. If the currency weakens, we'll look for energy prices to hold up and maybe even strengthen to the upside. We'll look for commodities to move up. And yesterday we saw a little bit of a pop and drop going on in gold and silver as that currency weakened. So keep a close eye on some of those commodity prices out there, energy, oil, gas, those kind of things, um, um, metals, steel, things like that could respond higher if that dollar continues to fall, if it strengthens, 
then we might see those continuing in a pullback. And right now, gold futures are a little bit lower here this morning um, as we're seeing just that little bit of strength here pushing up in that uh, chart. And our bond prices continue to stay strong as well, which is a little bit problematic uh, for the market here showing lots of strength. So let's take a look at a few stocks that could be setting up here. Um, we did hear this morning that Microsoft um, will officially be cutting um, um, employees. Um, they finally um, confirmed that they are um, reducing workforce. Um, and looking at that, that's actually pushing Microsoft a little bit higher here. You might want to watch this stock as it approaches a resistance level. This could really set up a short trade in the market as we press resistance, as we did right in here, press that resistance, and then the short traders came back in and piled on, pushing the stock lower. Now, when you lay off employees, you can sometimes get a nice little relief rally out of that because it reduces the cost of the company. So if we can break this downtrend and hold in here, then you want to watch that closely. If we back up and hold some support levels in here, I want you to notice we might be putting in a bit of an inverted head and shoulders type pattern if this were to rest out here for a little bit and then start on higher. So um, kind of both sides on this, watch that closely. Unfortunately, a lot of these stocks out here, even though they're rallying, are still nowhere near good buy points unless you're just trying to pick a bottom um, in these charts. Lots of downtrends, lots of issues here to still deal with in the chart. Perhaps the earnings will start improving that a little bit, but we'll want to wait and see. Now, I gotta tell you guys, for me, when I'm looking at um, markets here like QQQ indexes rallying toward major resistance areas in the chart, I want to be thinking more of the potential short trade. So for me, as we pop up in here, by the way, we've been doing this successfully in right way options all year, making um, substantial money here this year uh, for the downside um, with these downside moves. And even though we might catch a little bit more of a relief rally that could extend like we did right in here, I'm still gonna be a little bit on that bearish side um, watching these resistance levels for that potential of a failure. So picking up um, some some put positions, picking up some credit spreads, um, those kind of things, maybe some ratio spreads that could take advantage of a potential failure here. And even if it's just short term, doesn't necessarily mean we have to collapse all the way back down. Just a short term rest or pullback in the market can make for a very nice profitable trade. So as I approach these levels up here, I'm literally going to be looking for those opportunities for short positions in the market. So keep an eye on those. Another place you might want to look long, um, yesterday I saw some pretty nice um, effort here in um, drug makers. Take a look at Merck. Merck has been rallying up really strongly here. It had a big popping day yesterday. We're trying to push through these all-time highs here in Merck. Watch that closely. If that does pop through, a little rest or pullback might hold. Um, hold that level and set up an opportunity to the upside. BMY, um, BMY not showing up in that same positive vein, um, as you can see, just pushing into that downtrend. But if that were to push through and hold, there might be some opportunities there. And of course, that J and J reporting this morning, we could see some of those drug manufacturers, healthcare sector perk up with J&J, &J, just the sympathy of J&J &J pushing through to the upside. So a little rest or pullback in here would set up an opportunity. And then take a look at Eli Lilly. Eli Lilly has been very, very strong and you can see it's been dancing around trying to push right on through to some more highs here in that chart, looking very, very strong here overall in that healthcare sector, um, drug manufacturing sector, I should say, trying to push on through. So watch that close. Um, another place is take a look at some of the defensive sector stocks. Uh, PepsiCo has made a nice run to the upside here, uh, breaking this downtrend. Been very volatile like the rest of the market, but if this were to hold a higher low in here someplace, find that support. Look for that opportunity in some of those. Coca-Cola 
trying to perk up out of this downtrend, trying to break these downtrends. Again, we might be trying to set up a bit of an inverted head and shoulders pattern if that rests out here. Look for those opportunities. We've seen KHC on a nice little rally out of the bottom, breaking that downtrend. Again, watch for a little rest or consolidating pullback in here that sets up that next opportunity to the upside. We're seeing quite a few of those um, old boring stocks um, holding up, um, doing reasonably well, trying to pick up and do some things to the upside. So worth keeping an eye on them. So with that, guys, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Be safe. Be careful out there. It's going to be probably pretty choppy. I wouldn't rule out the possibility of a pop and drop. Um, as we press these resistance levels, I also wouldn't rule out that possibility that we gap and just kind of go nowhere um, today like we did yesterday. So watch carefully and be really, really careful with that knee-jerk reaction to chase into this market. So with that, guys, I want to wish you all the best and we'll see you right back here bright and early tomorrow morning.